Hello, my name is Chief Dan Barry. I am the uh, creator and web editor for MilitaryCAC.com and what I wanted to show you today is how to set up, fix your Internet Explorer browser so it'll work with CAC-enabled websites. This is probably one of the most common things that I've helped people with with their computers. So what I want to do is do a quick video of it to show you how to do it so you can fix your own computer and help your friends. So once again, MilitaryCAC.com is my website so I'm showing you how to do this. So the first thing we want to do is to open up Internet Explorer. We're going to go over to Tools. I'm running Internet Explorer 9 beta, so it's going to look a little bit different, but you're still going to have the tools on the right-hand side. Once you open Tools, go down to Internet Options. It's going to open way over here on the left-hand side, Internet Options. What I recommend is select the box for Delete Browsing History and Exit under Browsing History. Hit the Delete button. First, I want to tell you though first, make sure AKO or any of the sites you're trying to access are not open when you're doing this. If they are, go ahead and stop this and start it again. Normally the top four boxes are automatically checked, preserved favorites, temporary internet files, cookies and history, and the bottom four are not. All you have to do here is click the delete button, wait for it to do its little circle spinny thing. Once it finishes, it brings you back to this page again. Now we're going to click on the settings button, which is right next to it. My recommendation here is to change this to 8. That's the very minimum that Windows will let you use. Go ahead and hit OK once you've changed that. <clears throat> Go over to the Security tab. Click on the Trusted Sites check mark, the Sites button. In the Websites box, I recommend you have nothing in here that ends in us.army.mil. Now, this computer is running the IE9 beta, so I have to have my Outlook web access in here. If I don't, I cannot digitally sign or encrypt or read the emails that are digitally signed or encrypt. Also, if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows, either Vista or Windows 7, you also need to have your OWA website listed in here. If you don't have OWA, just go ahead and skip it and hit close. We're going to skip the Privacy tab and go right to the Content tab. Here's the Certificates button. You should, you should see your three certificates in here. If you see four of them, Go ahead and hit the remove and clear them all out. Once you're done here, hit close. We're going to go to the connections tab, LAN settings button. If you're on a personal computer, I want you should have none of these checked. If you're on a government computer, you may need to have proxy server checked. So basically uncheck them, hit OK. Now we're going to go over to the advanced tab, pull this little box all the way to the bottom. Since this computer is running Windows Vista 32-bit, you're going to see SSL2, SSL3, and TLS 1.0. If you're running Windows 7, you're going to see two more TLSs, a 1.1 and a 1.2. The key point here is that the only ones to be checked are SSL3 and TLS 1. SSL2 is not going to be checked. And if you have a 1.1 or 1.2, make sure those are not checked as well. And I want you to go up about six lines above SSL2 to empty temporary internet file folder when browser is closed. And please check that. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit apply and then OK. You close down your Internet Explorer browser and then you're going to reopen it again. And you're going to try accessing AKO or whatever other CAC enabled website you're trying to get to. If you're still having an error, go back to tools again, internet options again, Back to advanced again, and then click the reset button here for reset Internet Explorer settings. That resets Internet Explorer itself back to factory. It's, it's only gonna, it's, it won't mess up your favorites. It'll leave those the way they are. If you have any further problems accessing AKO or any other CAC enabled website, please visit militarycac.com. Once again, it's Chief Danbury. Thank you. Have a great day.